Did anyone see this article from NPR? Okay, it was a tech fair for women, for professional women. Okay, and uh, all the major companies, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple there was there for women. Guess who showed up? Did anyone take a guess? They actually paid $649 to $1,298 to attend this job fair. They actually paid so they could meet the top companies and have a potential for job. And it was designed for women. Guess who showed up? Come on, someone. Men? Men. men. Now, why are men showing up to a woman's conference? Someone help me so I don't get into too much trouble today. Let me see if there's any other pictures here. No, it's an NPR article. You might want to read it. I was I was flabbergasted <laughs> by it. I thought it was so unfair. Somebody help me. Terry, Miss Taylor, help me here. Help me. Bailey, help me. You're you're as incorrect in politically incorrect as me. Look, <laughs> help me here. Somebody. There are some people that I identify as a woman, even though they're a man. Or at least they say they identify that way to get into places for right. reserved for right. women. Come on, yeah, keep yeah. going, Terry. Come on, you're there. You're almost there. <laughs> Come on, cross over. Come over to the dark side here. Come on. Do you think well, they're... Go ahead. No, I mean, I think that there could be... That there are maybe men that want the jobs and want the opportunity. So they'll say anything in order to get it. I'll give this woman a round of applause, please. Thank you. You touched my heart. Thank you. Okay. Is that, am I, <laughs> Bailey, you got to jump in on this, buddy. You're, you're muted. Yeah, it's, it's. Um, Get in the trouble I, with me. I, I, I don't know anybody that did that personally, but, you know, I imagine they were probably part of it was maybe it was because they wanted the opportunity, maybe because they felt. You know, a women's only thing was uh, anti-man, you know, and maybe they wanted to draw some attention to the whole craziness of, you know, if I want to identify one way today, I can. And it's magic. And, you know, yeah, you got to let me in. That's I think that's what they were saying, you know, even though they look like men, you know, I, how can you tell me I'm not, not? So they were saying they're non-binary is, is because the place was allowing uh, non-binary folks. Okay. So, so, a, so a program designed for women to help women to get into jobs that maybe there were glass ceilings for women. I'm going to get into trouble. Abigail, you're going to have to help me too here. I want the ladies to rescue me, please. Um, and as Terry said, are there people who are taking advantage of this? What's a good confusion in our society right now? Yes, that's that's what it sounds like. It was like, you know, it's like Absolutely. Ken invading Barbie land. Yeah. Yeah. I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Restoring the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be so controversial. Oh, no, it's okay. I mean, this is, I mean, that's just sort of case in point of actually, I don't know if anybody saw that movie, the Barbie movie. <laughs> it's kind of like highlighting what, what women have to deal with. <laughs> Sing the song. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, I, if anyone hasn't seen it. It's it's entertaining, uh, but it does, daughter, it does raise my, that point. My my daughter loved Barbie. We still have the yeah. Uh, you know, we have Midge, and, and I never liked Ken though. I got to say that I, <laughs> he's an accessory. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. great. Uh, that says it all. <laughs> yeah, no, it 